Right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm just making sure the settings that I had when I first booted this up are still intact and correct in terms of displaying graphics I wanted performance mode. Uh, film green I'm going to leave on, motion blur I'll leave at 50, see how we go. Audio, I've got multi-channel because most of the time I'll be playing this through uh, an AV system, so 5.1. Um, or do I try 3D audio? I'll, I'll try 3D audio for this stream. And I can always change that after. Um, and other than that, we're good to go. We're good to we're, we're good to go and we're good to see what all this is, uh, is about and see how this remake stands up. So, without further ado... We'll go. job you turned down but six months apart with only fit calls it's rough easy to say the wrong thing I don't blame you I'd listen to my girlfriend over Hamlin reciting security protocols forewarned is forearmed Miss Davis so you keep saying here we go nice clean re-entry you just said imagine six months staring at that chunk of rock to an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Now where is she? There. Confirming visual contact with USG Ishimura. What a beauty. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see her running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's got to be waiting up for us. Just be careful on the approach. I'm not taking any chances with the CEC's pride and joy. No chances, huh? Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? You track your file access? I'm a computer analyst. Comes with a job. I ran standard CEC background checks, Miss Daniels. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <coughs> Sir, we're in hailing range. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is the USG Kelly. You ever hear of communications black on all these things? Never. Come on. Someone pick up the damn phone. Sounds like their communication array is busted. Maybe a uh, broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it in 48 hours, Max. Hey, that gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson, take us in. Gravity tethers engaged. Automated docking. Let's go. We're losing control. Daniel! Titan system override isn't responding. Shit, shit, we're coming in too hot. It's gonna smash us into the hull. Chad, aim for that emergency stabilizer. There, the blue light. It might slow us down. Guys, drop the flash shield. Everyone break the door. Everyone okay? I'm good. 
I'll live. Hey, Johnston. You all right? Yeah. It's broken. Shit. But better than a broken neck. Or worse. Good call on the stabilizer, Isaac. Gotta always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Calmed her down. We lost poor booster. Got a fire in one of the stabilizers and... Singularity course of mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kelly. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. Interesting how that opening played out then. Because one thing they've done with this game is give Isaac a voice, which he didn't have in the original game in 2008. He did in Dead Space 2. They gave him a voice in Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3. And they have bought the same actor back to do his voice for this remake. But obviously in the original first game he didn't have one at all and yet he exchanged quite a bit of dialogue there so and I can't actually remember how the the original started in comparison to this so just hang on don't, don't rush me a sec let's have a let's have a look around Yes, 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 yes. Alright, let's go. security. Same for the chief engineer. What is wrong with their comms? Someone left in a hurry. Where's the security detail? Where's anybody? There's nothing logged. No duty roster, no power to the elevator. For God's sake. That security console's still working. Isaac, get a damage report. I'm done playing around. Follow the locators to find current objectives. Oh, God, that smell. 
What have you got, Isaac? Shit. It's not just comms with the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the trams. Could do that kind of damage to a planet cracker. Ventilation's up. Power to the elevator should be now. anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Another malfunction? No. The quarantine systems are all fine. Oh, wait. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Take it easy. There's something in here with us. Up there! So the board in there and so funny. Whoa. I remember it not taking long until it all started kicking off last time. Let's just um, do, 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 do. control layout. Stomp R2, melee R1. No, I can't do it yet anyway. Not until the game introduces me to it, by the looks of it. The lighting, the new lighting on it is fantastic. Cut off the limbs. Oh, now it's letting me stomp. Did I punch that or shoot it? I'm gonna reserve me ammo.
Can I get anything as much as I don't want to? Can I get any of these? Oh, gross. Why is his heart beating? His heart beat going like. Something. Oh, what the! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> that's why his heart beat. That's why his heart beats the game ten to dozen because mine is. Thank you, game. Oh. Inventory is a touchpad. Let's have a look how the inventory works. So what we got here. So plasma cutter, small med pack, plasma energy, ammunition for the plasma cutter, small gas cartridges, fuel the cutters, ionized plasma bolts. So what tabs we got along the top? Inventory, map, missions, get to safety, and the database. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair techs. So how do we do this? There's a broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system. And the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. Get the tram running. Right. Replace the damaged tram. Find the data board. So, going back to my previous point about the fact that Isaac has now got a voice in this game. I, I'm, it's made me even more super curious now because that little exchange then with them would wouldn't seem right or natural for him to just remain silent while they were having that discussion it just just bizarre and yet i can't remember you see so that that's the key here is that i can't remember how the it went down in the first game with it being so long long ago but yeah it just feels so much more natural and right for him to be talking and responding and having conversations with people. And if I went back and looked at the other game now, I, I just feel like it, you're going to instantly think, God, it just adds so much more to the game. Mm. 
gives him a you know gives him a character, gives him a personality. I know it was a new niche thing of you know of having a silent protagonist back then, and it wasn't unheard of. There was other games that did it as well, but still, it does seem to add so much more. Credits. It's wanting me to go that way. So, uh, how much does the game encourage going off track, I wonder? Like, are you, again, going back to the fact that I, I don't remember very well. What, could, is it something I can do? Well, here's something that I'll do. Save. Car going back. Right, right. Do you know what? We're gonna have a we're gonna have a wander. We're gonna go off the beaten track here in a minute. And just see how much the game punishes you for doing it. Oh my god, the music's gone super eerie. And there's noises in, unless that's me kicking something on the floor. There's noises in the vents and everything. What the? You son of a... Okay. The worry here is that I'm going off the beaten track and I, I kind of don't want to be jumping the gun and doing stuff that the game maybe tells me to do later. For all I know, I might get a, a mission to come down here, but we'll, we'll go with the flow. We'll, we'll wing it, so to speak. We'll do it as a new save, just in case. Maintenance bomb. Isaac, don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. The only way is hacking them apart. Those arms, their legs. Does that even kill them? Or do they just stop moving? The atmosphere is. Very nice, I've got to say. Yeah. 
God damn you, game. Oh, I probably could have shot them. There's a lot of these red canisters around. If they do what I think they do, which is explode when shot. Yes, they do. They do explode when shot. That's good to know. Uh, right, we're getting down here. We're chancing it. How about you? Awesome. What do you get for coming off the beaten path? My god, I think I need some health actually. Uh, pick up. Something this game did really well, and I think it was the first of its kind, was to have literally no HUD. Because everything on uh, that you need, all the important gauges and stuff that you need, is literally on your guy's body. That green light on, on his back is his health bar, and then your ammo is displayed on the actual gun when you're aiming down sights. Uh, I'm fairly sure it was the first of its kind that introduced uh, this kind of thing in games. You can get some games now that got you have things like dy dynamic hoods so that the the, when you're wandering around exploring, they vanish off the screen. They fade away off screen and only come back when you uh, kind of press a button to prompt them to, to pop back up. I, I, I've gone so far off the beaten track here, I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Well, I'm clearly walking in the right direction. Whereas I went through the left door, and the door I needed to go through was on the right. Initially, that on the floor there, I reckon that's going to come alive. Oh, without doubt, look at it sitting and waiting, it is for come and get me.
I mean, press the objective button, and he wants me to go pretty much back where I've just come from, so I'm at, um, I've gone way off course. Ammo seems to be plentiful, which is good. What have I been here? Oh, I've been yeah. This is my um, handiwork here. No, oh, no, it's not. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, didn't do that to you. Oh, I've lost. Hang on a sec. Let's go back here. Once a door. Here was there. Back up.
Oof. Ah! There's one behind me, you mother... Jesus! Fuck it, ninja! Oh my god. Really? Didn't even hear it. Did not even hear it. I was too preoccupied with the two that I took out in front. But I did not even hear the sucker. Right, he wants me to go that way, but let's have a newsy in here, seeing as I think I've unlocked this, and I'm not sure I had it unlocked before. Isaac, we can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. I'm halfway done. Found a data board. Just gotta move the tram. Okay, Daniels, watch that door. Nodes. Are you upgrades? Ah. Here we go. So the bench. Upgrade weapons and rig. Using the bench. So upgrade weapons. Improve the selected weapon or rig. Rig's capabilities by investing. Power nodes in their upgrade graph. Unlock new upgrades to gain access to unique upgrades and expand the weapons upgrade graph. Bring upgrade parts to the bench. Okay, can I? I can actually do. I mean, I picked up one node, so can I actually do anything here? Uh, let's have a look. So that's gonna work. Give me more health. Let's have a look at the cutter. So I increase the damage of the plasma cutter or I can increase my health. Let's go with my health and see and see how it works. Right, so it's it's nodes, right. So next upgrade is for oxygen. I did a runner then, because I, I... Ah! It's stressing me out. I don't like it. <laughs> Out, out, out. Oh. 
Nice, I think I'm gonna have to. Reboot that, that's it. Oh, that's sure, that's locked. So nothing should come behind me unless it comes out of a vent. Oh, the, the sound all around you. Urgh, game. No, 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 don't be doing this. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. Power node. Install the data board. Ah, oh, right ahead. Right there. Data board pre-installed. Error. Damage tram on track. Contact maintenance immediately. Replace the damage tram. Additional repairs required. Why? Why? Ah, right, this is the, um, the slow down mechanic.
No, but I found a stasis module. I'm faster than... I got it. Recharge stasis module at recharge stations or by using stasis packs in the inventory. Just press triangle for recharge. Right, okay, cool. Right, a save station. So let's overwrite that one. Right. Ladies and gents, that's where I'm going to conclude, now that I've saved there, this is where I'm going to conclude this first look at this game. Um, tune in and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will potentially be doing a series of uh, the, the entire playthrough of this game on my channel, so by all means, subscribe, hit that notification bell, so they can get uh, alerted to when I post up new content and new videos as part of this series. But for the time being, thank you very much for tuning in and watching, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.